what's in the box today. Something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be doing some psychic art. So I'm going to move things around in a minute so you can see actually see what I'm doing. When I work with um, spirit guides doing psychic art, it's like a channeling uh, way of working. Um, sometimes when I'm doing that, I'm not aware of um, <clears throat> a presence there. I'm just aware of an urgency to, to work as to which colours to use if I'm working with pastels. And if I'm working with pencil, that's usually a different spirit guide that comes in to work with pencils. One in particular that I work with in that way, and he works quite quickly uh, with me. And he also works with charcoal. Uh, so sometimes I'll do something in, in charcoal as well. On occasions I've worked with acrylics. Um, but mainly it's uh, pastels um, that I use, sort of uh, pastels here, yeah, sort of like these sort of uh, pastels you get quite messy. Uh, with that just using things like that lying around when I work uh, that way. So normally what happens is if I'm doing a spirit guide portrait for someone, um, I'll ask for that person to send a photograph in of themselves so I can clearly see their face, I can see their eyes, and I can see the energy field around them. And I ask for, um, I meditate first, and then I ask for a spirit guide to come forward who connects with that person in that photograph. And then eventually I just start to work. I never know where I'm going to start, whether I'm starting with a background colour or whether it's with the nose or the eyes. Or sometimes I just work, you know, just scribble, really. And I never know what's going to come out of it at the end. Now, whilst I'm doing that, I'm building up a, a picture sort of mentally of, of, of the personality of the spirit guide that I'm connecting with. And usually when the picture is completely finished, they will then channel a message that I then have to write down and write just notes down, then start to, to type it up. Um, and usually as I'm typing it up, they'll give me something else as well to go with that. So I never know initially who I'm going to be drawing. I never know what's going to be said. Um, I don't have any sort of preconceived ideas about anything. Um, it's just, it flows as it is. So I set things up a little bit differently today. Uh, so you're going to be able to see what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it. Um, and then we'll see what comes through at the end of the session. So how I'm going to fit all this into I'd like a 15 minute slot, I don't know. So it's probably going to go on for like probably about an hour and then I'll condense it down so you can see, you don't want to watch the whole thing. We're going to speed it up and so you can watch it at the very end, if that's okay. Okay, so I'll see you all again very shortly. I'm just going to set things up. Okay, so here we are set up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so um, I thought I would start off by, you see it doesn't always work this way, sometimes it works like, um, if I, let me just scrub those out of the, the way and put them down there. Sometimes as I said I work with a block colour and other times I tend to start here. So my intention today is to ask a spirit guide to come forward for any one of you out there who is watching so this could be a guide that works with a lot of different people um, so we'll see who comes forward may even be one of uh, the ascended masters i don't know i don't know who's going to come forward so I think I will start by delving into my little box here of goodies and what colour are we going to use? Maybe, hmm, maybe this one. This is the one that I seem to have gone for. 
today. So, as I say, I never know <coughs> who's going to come forward or what's going to happen, really. So let me just do that. And then I'm going to do this. And let's just see what starts to evolve from this. If there's anything clear that is coming to light. Not at the moment, I hasten to say. So let's have a look at another colour. Which colour am I going to go for? Hmm, that one's probably a bit too dark for me. Let's go with... Oh yeah, that one's quite good. Let's go with that. It's just literally a hint of a colour that I want to use here. I don't know why, but there we are. Ooh. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an outline that's happening here. I'm not quite sure where we're going with that, so... Let's just... Let's just go with this. Where I feel this may be leading me. any shape to this yet but then early days early days let's have a look where we're going with that quite a happy sort of quite a happy look to this already sort of oh interesting I'm not quite sure where I'm going with that mm. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. I like to use um, cotton buds as well, you know, just an ordinary everyday cotton bud. It, it just helps to, helps me with the blending. I say I never know where I'm going. So this definitely helps me. And if you uh, have ever been to art school, and I haven't, but if you have, I'm sure your teachers would not tell you to draw like this. But 
I have to go with how it feels and this is how it feels. Okay. So there we are. I've um, more or less finished uh, the picture now. Obviously, we've changed rooms. <laughs> Just the lighting's better in here for me to work. Uh, that's all. So um, that's it for today. So um, I'm going to let you know uh, when she channels a message to me. Um, what she says I'm going to write it up and if any of you want a copy of uh, this picture uh, she's a very very strong um, lady um, almost Amazonian uh, strength with her um, uh, first of all I thought we were going back to maybe ancient Greece or, or something like that but um, yeah she changed her she, i had to put the turquoise on she changed what she was not changed what she was wearing but she changed my perception of what she was wearing um and so i had to um i had to add the turquoise that she said that was very very important that i put that in um so i'm i'm gonna wait and see what message uh, she has and uh, i'll let you know okay that's it for me now for now Bye-bye. This spirit guide introduces herself as Mida and is of Persian descent. This is her message. Although you may be feeling challenged, it is essential for you to know that strength is not what you see on the outside, but rather what you're feeling inside. And whether you realise it or not, 
You are a natural leader. It is in your soul. It's what you were born to do, to survive. Acknowledge all the skills you've learned along the way and be open to new experiences. Listen to others who from their experience you can learn, even if you feel that you already know what they are trying to tell you. Do not make the mistake of thinking that stubbornness is determination. Recognize the difference. Listen to your instinct. What is it saying to you? Do not worry about how things will look to others or whether they would approve. They may even say things to you like, oh, don't be so stupid or stop being so stubborn. And there is a saying, as stubborn as a mule. The mule that refuses to move no matter how hard you try to push it forward or call it names or will simply go in a direction of its own choosing. Is it being stupid in its stubbornness? No, it is simply thinking. It knows instinctively to wait and to weigh up the best and the most direct path to take. It has an outward strength and it can carry heavy loads. But the real strength comes from the knowledge within to pace itself so that the load does not become a burden. You are pausing right now because you're thinking about the best course of action. This is the path that will get you to where you want to be. You ask why I insisted on including the turquoise. Well, simply it connects the earth and the sky. Rather like the mule who stands his ground while his mind is open to working out the best way forward. Turquoise is a protector and a communicator. It induces wisdom and understanding so that we may see all aspects of ourselves. And it teaches us to look at our mistakes in a different light. These are simply experiences showing us how to view things from a different perspective, that's all. So let go of any fears and face any challenges, knowing that you have the strength to survive and to thrive. I'm here for you whenever you need me. You just have to call my name, Mina.